So I mean, can I, first official day in the office, uh, you must be looking forward to getting cracking. Can't wait, absolutely. It's, uh, we said in the press conference, really good football club, um, good squad, uh, good set of lads, so it's, uh, it's just about getting going now, isn't it? We've heard from the chairman and he said you were the outstanding candidate, so that's from his side of the fence. What is it that's brought you to Kings Lynn? Because you're obviously doing good things at Notts County. I came to the playoff games, you look at the, uh, you look at the potential of the football club, you look at the, the desire and the passion of the fans, you look at the group of players that's here, um, having spoken to the chairman, the, the, it's all about the ambition. Um, and, and the football club, the football club is ready, ready to, to go. That's important. Yeah. It's, it's the biggest, most important thing for me. You actually were asked about in, in the press conference there, is this your biggest challenge in football? Or, and you, you had a little pause and you thought about it and you, you basically ended up saying it was. I mean, why, I so. why yeah. is that? Uh, just the stature of the club, uh, the, the job, and I'm really honoured and really grateful for the job. The importance that I put on the job is, is huge. Um, and, and that, that for me is, I'll always put myself under pressure. I did as a footballer, uh, I have as a, as a manager, I have as a, a coach, whether, whether it's in the championship or whether it's in, in, uh, in, in non-league football. Um, so, so that won't change. I think it's just a fantastic opportunity. Uh, so you asked about the squad and the, and the turnover, potential turnover. It's been confirmed that Ryan Fryett's uh, more or less signed a new deal. Absolutely. In terms of the rest of the squad, how do you see that playing out? Are you going to lose too many more? And what are you looking to do in terms of bringing players in? No, I don't think so. We've, I've got my targets. Uh, I'm speaking to my targets. Like all, like all, uh, all good players. All good players are wanted by by more than one football club. Um, there's there's a good there's a good balance that's already here. It's just about bringing in those specific targets. And they, they some players want to wait. Some players want to get it done. Um, but no, we'll be fine. The squad the squad will be good enough. Uh, to do what we want to do. As you said, you were here for the two playoff games. That shows the potential in terms of you looked at the crowd, nearly 3,000. Absol absolutely vast, yeah. But, but by the same token, <clears> the <throat> huge disappointment, and you touched on that again in the press conference, you really don't think that's going to linger too much into the new season, you'll be able to turn that around and get the boys focused and going again? Absolutely. Uh, as I said in the press, it, it, it's, about, it's about them buying into to me, to my methods. Um, they'll do stuff here that they haven't done before. Um, they'll do stuff that they've done before, but it, it's all about creating an environment. And when you get the right kind of players that have the right, and, and that can be a 32-year-old that still wants to have a go. It can be a it can be a 17-year-old that's got massive ambitions. It can be a 24-year-old that's been in it, has dropped out of it, and is desperate to get back in. But they have to have they have to have a couple of attributes. They have to have that desire. They have to have that aspirations to be better and they have to be coachable. And I, th I think the group the group is set up uh, to have a right go next year. And on that point, just to finish, a right go would be nothing less than promotion. That has to be the target. Yeah, playoffs are fantastic. Uh, automatic's even better.